How are we all doing out there? I hope you're keeping well. So, once again, I want to thank you along a few new subscribers. The thing is gradually crawling up the hill, so it's great. I'm having a lot of fun doing the videos and uh, the comments and all the, the bits and pieces to go with it. So, thank you all very much. Um, Hell Mitsubishi 16 inch colour TV on the bench. I'm just giving it a bit of a run, there's nothing really a whole lot to say about that. Only you need to give it a good clean. Yeah, it's filthy dirty but of course typical japanese reliability he's steaming away it's a ctm 60 or a cp uh, 1627 ml that means that is out there um mitsubishi went to a bit of effort with their sets you see they have a speaker but they also have a tweeter um, sound quality is a little bit better than your average tv set and any of them i've gotten in here over the years that i've come across I can't remember any of them ever giving me any bother at all. Really great TV. Um, they just walk and walk and walk. Um, so they, they probably did TV men now a job there. Another very reliable TV, uh, Japanese television, uh, Toshiba of course. Any of them I ever came across as well, they just plug them in and they work. I don't, don't think you ever had an, an issue with one of them either. Apart from maybe noisy pots. But I mean, you have to allow for these things after uh, 40 or 50 years. Gonna have a quick look at this. And I think I already know what's wrong with it, but this is a wind up radio. It has a little solar panel as well, but I'm gonna wind it up and you can hear it. And then I'll go into telling you what's wrong with it. But I just want you to hear the noise out of this thing. You crank her up like that, right? Come on. And keep cranking. keep cranking and there's a big huge steel flat spring in it which I'll show you in a minute but alright that'll do with us for the purposes I want, I want you to listen to the noise this thing makes because it sounds like a 707 taking off noisy uh, <laughs> it also has a DC input jack and we can prove that it does work because I just did this um, Wait. Right. but something rather simple has happened or gone wrong Doo -doo -doo. Um, there's your big flat spring you wind it around that drum and it comes back and then there's several gears and uh, this big black gear here has a, a V in it and up here they're using a little electric motor as a dynamo and there's no mechanical connection between the two because the belt is has come off and where was the belt the belt's floating around inside it and the belt has snapped belt's there so hopefully I will have a belt that will fit so I'm going to go ahead and open it up ok boys and girls so I couldn't find a belt to fit well I couldn't put my hand on one anyway but I did the old trick I used a rubber band and it's working ok so I've only given it a turn so we'll give it a good turn now obviously it's not supposed to sound like a 707 taking off when all is well it's a flat walk radio and you know you wind this thing up and you should get in and out half an hour or whatever playtime hour and the thing is supposed to go around slowly and there it is it's tiddling along on a nice relaxed pace
there it dives off. Um, it has a big electrolytic of course in it. 22,000 microfarad. I don't think there's any copyright on this. I think the rubber band would nearly do. I might stick it together like that for now till I get the appropriate belt. Alright, that was a quick one. I thought that would be sort of interesting, even if only moderately. Um, at least it doesn't sound like a 7 out of 7 taking off anymore. I did have a feeling it wouldn't go down quite that quick in a normal operation. So I'm quite happy with that. Alright, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, I'll put that back together and I'll think of something else ridiculous to put on the bench. Thanks for watching and um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and um, we'll catch you in the next one. Good luck for now.